Tommy N's videos may have a little more meaning than just Minecraft. Recently, I was watching one of Tommy's videos, and I noticed a scene within this film, and it struck me on a different chord, to be honest. The Tommy N video in question was one in which Tommy Wilbur fills a and Charlie Slimesicle go into the world and they have to deal with the antagonist of a black hole in the middle of the world trying to suck them in and kill them. And while I was watching this, I I couldn't help but notice this one scene. When I watch Tommy in it videos, I don't think there'll be much theology and um, perspective on life. How do you say, um, genius? in such a video. If it's just them playing around in Minecraft, or it's trivial entertainment, one could say. The scene in question was a scene in which the black hole was so big that even from blocks and blocks away from where they were, from where they started, Tommy looks back and he's like, Charlie. What? Charlie, we need to like run from the hole or something like that. It's, you get the point. And Charlie looks at him and he says something very unique that it really didn't think would come out of a Tommy in a video. Uh -huh. Slimesicle responds in a very cinematic way, <laughs> one would say. He says, here's how you fix it. Go to settings, video settings, blah, 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 blah. And eventually turn down the render distance. Now, to an unexperienced theologian or philosopher you might be from watching this video, you might not understand the significance behind this statement. But looking at it from a second perspective and a third person view, like like in Fortnite, I have saw this kind of a satire. And I don't use that word lightly. Now, to make this more simpler for you guys at home, here. Have you ever heard of the song... Um, hey, if you haven't, watch Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Once you get to the credit scene, you can listen to it. Pompeii? I really hope I'm saying this right because my mind is just so full of like everything else going on in the world and how smart and handsome and strong I am that like sometimes it slips my mind, but I'm pretty sure it's called Pompeii. Pompeii is about this city that had a volcano next to it and it erupted and the volcano destroyed, I think, everyone in Pompeii in the city. Everyone died and the Pompeii city was destroyed. And that happened, uh, I think like 25 years ago, I think. My math may be wrong on this, but you can correct me in the comments. In this song, Bastille, I don't remember what his name is because once again, my mind is focused on so many more intriguing things in the world as such as the Andrew Tate arresting um, situation going on right now. In this song, he says, the singer, Bastille, I'm just gonna call him Brandon. I'm gonna call him Brendan from now because he kind of looks like a Brendan. He says, but if you close your eyes, it doesn't always, but if you close your eyes, it doesn't always seem like nothing's changing at all. And as soon as I heard Slimesicle say, just turn the red resistance down and all problems go away, you won't see the black hole, I instantly latched on to Pompeii. That one line, if you close your eyes. Now, if you somehow still don't understand what I'm talking about right now, the significance behind this scene in this film created by Tommy Innes, it's not only, not only, let's let's put it this way. The render distance represents how we're gonna like see the, the future, our problems, our anxieties, our tribulations, if you will, and our trials, if we stop trying to focus on them and put them down, if we close our eyes, it doesn't always seem like anything is gonna, is gonna change at all. But as we know in both the song and Pompeii and in the Tommy In It video, it's still there. We may pretend that the problem isn't there. We may think to ourselves that like, I can just run around and mosey my whole life. I can moses my life away and travel around the world for 40 years and then die right before I get to my end goal. But at the end of the day, it's the problem is still there. And you still need to figure out how you're gonna deal with that. And as you can tell, this is a very intense theological, philosophical conversation we're having right now. So I'm not taking this lightly, and you shouldn't either. So what are we gonna do once the volcano 
is overflowing and and Pompeii is being destroyed all your your wife your kids your mother your father your brothers your sisters your friends and your family they're all dying in front of you you want to close your eyes but you simply can't what do you do when that black hole is growing to immense amounts at a great speed and you just want to you just want to turn down your rendered distance so you don't see it. How are you gonna deal with that? And I think that's a question that you need to answer for yourself through turning off social media, turning off YouTube, turning off TikTok, I know how you Gen Z kids are, turning off Roblox, turning off Minecraft. Don't turn off me though, because at the end of the day, I'm number one. Baby. You need to think about that alone in the woods or something i don't know you do you man it's a tough question it's a tough subject honestly this is what i mean it's a you never thought a tommy in it video would bring shed such light and impact on a topic about what we're all dealing with let's be honest but yeah i am dr Kronk, phd from harvard um, twice time champion and athletics department and full-time pizza deliverer i don't know i really hope you just take a moment to think about this my name is Frank. boy don't get bonked you can't even see my stomps cause when they turn that thing on the track they turn it up so loud it smack hey 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 hey